that you are having a fantastic, a fantastic Saturday. And this is just your first time. Welcome. My name is Marcella, and I am a single special need mom to a wonderful daughter that's 17 with autism, speech delay, ADHD, learning disability, and PICA. So the reason for my video today is to let you know how our day went. Me and Nicole, we went out um, to a back to school uh, event. Um, later, I put the pictures up so you can see what we did. But uh, I'm more welcome to show you what we had got. Uh, all across town, uh, people was having um, uh, back to school events today. And some is having it next week, too. So I decided to go ahead and uh, take it upon myself to go ahead and uh, participate in our first, very first time uh, back to school event. Uh, I'm sorry I did not uh, do a video, but I only took one, uh, one picture just to show you um, what they had. They had bouncing balls. They had uh, inside, they, they had... Um, they was giving out uh, snowballs, and Nicole had her snowball, and they also was giving out popcorns. So all those things, like the popcorn, hot dog we brought back, um, Nicole had a meltdown while we was there. And the only reason why, because uh, it was out of her element, and uh, she didn't know what to expect. So basically, uh, what happened is that when the, um, people with autism go somewhere um, new, they're not familiar with, uh, they'll go into aggression where they'll have a meltdown. Sometimes it's, it don't even have to be a meltdown. It can just that they'll just go into their own shell. So that's basically what she did. And uh, the one thing I did like was the fact that um, the church people, because it was at a church, uh, some of them recognized uh, the, the situation and they uh, um, have a career in, in uh, special education. So that was awesome how they jumped in to fulfill that need um, to take her outside to try to see if we can get her to walk or something like that. She did kind of calm down once uh, we that they was able to talk to her. So that was really cool. That was really nice. But we didn't get to stay long, but they did tell us that we are more welcome to come back for the book bag. I'll think about it. I think I might go and I might not. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let me uh, let you guys see what we had got. Over here, they gave us um, a pouch with um, number two pencils in it and some crayons and also um, something else is in there, uh, some kind of um, a, a solid binder pouch and then uh, some glue. So um, they said as far as uh, like... Uh, uh, the book bag, you have to come back for it during church time. And uh, we was able to bring our uh, popcorn back. They gave us um, popcorn that they was popping. And they also um, made the snowballs. And the snowball was really good, especially on this really hot day. And it got up to 88 today. And I'm basically a spring and a summer person. I'll take spring and summer anytime over winter fall I can deal with winter no but uh anyway what else did they give us I think that's about it so once we left there we went to uh Walmart and uh, I had to pick up some personal things from Walmart and uh there was uh, a lady giving out a free bag at Walmart I don't know about all the Walmart, but it was this particular one that was, and this is the Walmart bag that they gave, they gave out. So they gave us in here um, a water bottle by Walmart. 
Let me turn the light on so you can see. The name of uh, Walmart is on there. They also gave us uh, some kind of stuff, a moist, oh, okay, more moisturizer, uh, contact lens. Then uh, they gave us uh, the lens wipes because the lady said it was some cleaning supplies in there. And uh, this is great. This is a, a pressure uh, bowl. And this would be great for Nicole when she's... Um, feeling distressed or just feel like um, she doesn't know how to deal with her element, this would be great for her to uh, press down on. And uh, they was giving out sunglasses too, sunglasses. And uh, they gave out these pins from Walmart. And uh, same thing. And that's basically about it that they gave. So uh, when we went to Walmart, I basically just got just personal stuff that we needed. And that's all we need. And uh, I bought a pillow, um, the throw pillows for outside on your patios. Uh, they, they have those now for $2 at Walmart. So if you uh, around in your area of Walmart, you can pick some up there uh, available. So uh, that's all I have to say for tonight, this evening. And I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. And uh, once me and Nicole got back, we uh, took us a nap. We ate took a nap and she's still downstairs. She's still napping, but she, she woke up like two hours ago. Then she napped. And then, uh, uh, in the between of my nap, I watched a uh, uh, kickboxing. I, I do like sports. I like, uh, watching kickboxing. I like watching baseball, things like that. So I, uh, decided to do that. So now I'm getting ready to go and sit down and eat dinner and uh, maybe call it a night, watch a movie. And like I said, if I don't go back tomorrow to pick up the book bag, um, me and Nicole might find a uh, activity due tomorrow evening. So uh, also I wanted to, re uh, to tell you guys that I'm going to be returning back to the uh, plasma donor, uh, donor plasma place. And the reason why is because uh, I am in need of money. And uh, like I had said in my previous uh, video that I had um, uploaded, that when you get uh, Social Security Disability uh, monthly, um, it almost puts you in property. And so you don't have very much left over. So to be honest, Nicole's money gone. And so I had to use majority of, uh, on our bills and buy little personal stuff. And uh, uh, I paid our mortgage with my money. And so um, we just, just um, being a single mom or a single dad, you need uh, extra income to get you through. And I feel that uh, um, going back to the plasma, would be a great opportunity for me. So I did uh, bring that to the attention of Nicole's dad. And he said that if he can, he'll try to watch her uh, this week. I hope he'll try to work with me a lot better than he does. He uh, seems like um, he's more concerned about himself than uh, uh, our personal needs. So, um, he, he basically have money, so he's living off his father's money that uh, his father had inherited and uh, the money that his great-grandfather left his his family, so they're living off that, so they're good. But me and Nicole, we still have to go. We, we still struggle. We, we still have to uh, get out and, uh, I, well, not her, but me, I still have to get out and try to uh, make ends meet. And uh, 
Also, I wanted to uh, mention something else, too, that um, one of my uh, now former subscriber um, called me a, a leech. And I am not a leech. Uh, I feel that if you take it upon yourself and uh, you see me uh, in my title say that uh, if you want to help support our channel, you're more than welcome to, that's your obligation. You're not obligated to do anything. This is this is a volunteer. If you want to give a, a donation in the Cash App or the PO Box, that's up to you. You are helping my channel, Nicole's channel, where we can improve uh, the channel for you to watch. So with that being said, there was no love lost when this person told me they had undescribed because they felt like um, the reason why I didn't tell them about. Uh, he said that I didn't tell him that I was sorry to hear that his mother passed. And I feel like that I did tell him when he sent me an email that I was sorry to hear that. But when I told him that, I was focusing more on his situation concerning his son because he told me that his son was going um, to Israel. He was leaving Florida to go to Israel because he's in the army. So I felt like that was more important to focus more on because his mother's gone. There's nothing we can do. But but I did tell him that I'm sorry to hear that. So he sent me a really harsh email saying that um, I show no concern about his well-being and that I was not a good friend. And first of all, I want to clear that up too. I am not your friend. When you contact me and we just trying to get to know each other, we are not friends. We are just um, people that's out here just trying to get to know each other. So I want to clear that up too. So like I said, there is no love law. And if he wanted to unsubscribe, hey, he just one person because um, we I have more thousands of thousands of them out there that loves watching us. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say, that you are more than welcome to uh, donate. And if you feel like you want to buy, uh, buy me a coffee, you are more than welcome to do that. I am not holding no gun to nobody's head telling them you can do this or do that. This is something that God might put on your heart what you want to do. So just like me, I feel like God has put it on my heart to go back to the plasma where I can um, provide for me and Nicole in a better form where like, say like if an event or uh, an activity I want to do with her, I have the extra money to do that. So I need Nicole dad to work with me a lot more. He, he might come from a family with money. Hey, we did not come from a family with money. So we're going to always, uh, I'm going to always going to be uh, looking to do better, uh, to improve the life for me and Nicole. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that your Saturday is going well and that you've done exciting things on in this summer month in August which is August the 3rd of 2024. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that notification if you want to see more videos like this. And also, you want to subscribe, like, and comment below. I look forward to talking to you. Until then, bye for now.